Hello everybody, welcome to Hey Kids Let's Draw. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, like this video, and let us know in the comments who you'd like us to draw next. We really appreciate you guys. So today we are going to draw Fernando Tatis Jr. of the San Diego Padres Major League Baseball team. We're gonna draw Tatis in the City Connect jerseys and uniform. Nicknamed El Nino, he's a Dominican pro baseball player. 2019 Major League debut, he was the 2020 Silver Slugger Award, Gold Glove winner in 2023, an all-star and an all-around popular athlete and outfielder, Fernando Tatis Jr. So find the center of your page up and down, the center of your page across, and then come up and we'll do Tatis right here. So we're gonna do get our dark marker. We will fill, we're gonna do an arch right here, a slight arch for the brim of the hat. There we go. There's the hat brim up, up, and then we're going to connect. We'll go up on the edge, up on the edge, and then round it up to a point up top, and then come down and connect rounded to that corner. So the edges are rounded. There's the hat for you. Now we're going to do Tatis wearing his Pit Viper style sunglasses for the outfield. So here we go. Come down. Come down, angle down to the middle, go up, curve, and connect. There we go, there's the sunglasses. Now let's do the edge of the face here. Come down from the sunglasses, the jawline, to the chin, up, and then connect up to the sunglasses. Okay, let's do his ears popping out over here. One ear, two ears. Okay, let's do the nostrils. We're gonna do a bump up and a bump up. See two arches? And we're gonna fill those in, kind of like sideways raindrops. And we'll do an arch around each nostril. Now find the center of the head, come down the center of the nose, and we'll do a dot. That's the middle of the lip, up, down, up, down. There is the mouth. So we basically connected up, down to a point, up and into the lip, and then a line under the mouth. There we go. So let's do the um, beard real quick. Kind of scribble his beard in. I just go up and down scribbling because the beards are always kind of whiskers. They're never perfect, they're kind of messy. So I'm gonna just draw his beard in real quick. Come up. He's got a little bit of a chin beard right there, or a lip beard. And then he's got a mustache surrounding his lip. See how that works, and then it goes down, goes down, and connects to the beard. Make that a little bit wider. There we go. Tatis Jr.'s face so far. Here we go. Let's do the neck. Come down, come down to a point. Make the shoulder slant down, make the shoulder slant down. Bring the sleeve down. Bring the sleeve down, angle that sleeve, angle that sleeve, armpit, armpit, now come down to the waist, straight across, angle down to that waist, there we go. Let's do a big baseball over here, do a big circle for the baseball. We'll do one, two, three, four circles for fingers holding onto that baseball. And then his arm is coming down and over, down and over behind the baseball. Over here we're gonna do a sideways jelly bean shape. That's his hand holding onto the top of the baseball bat. And I'll show you how that works. Bring this arm down. Come down to the hand, bring this elbow down and into the hand there. 
arch, arch for the baseball bat. We're gonna do skinny up here, angle down, big fat baseball bat at the end, get fatter and wider as we go to the bottom of the baseball bat. There we go. Now we're gonna do the belt buckle, a rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. There's the belt. Now we're gonna do the pants, coming down, skinny leg, and it's gonna get wider as we go up. Come down, get skinny toward that ankle, flat, connect wide, and get skinny toward that ankle. Now we're gonna do oversized shoes right here, because we like to draw cartoon style athletes here. So there's the bump, the tongue of the shoe. One, two, three bumps for shoelaces, and one on that side will bring the shoe out and down. Straight across, connect. Bring this heel down, come straight across. that toe up and connect behind the baseball bat. All right, cool. So let's do um, a couple of the, let's do his hair real quick. So Tatis has some of these dreadlock things hanging out. So just follow me. Kind of color those in. I'm actually gonna leave the tips, the ends, white and we'll color those yellow because it seems like he's got some bleached colored ends right there so let's do one over here maybe another maybe some that curve down that go over his shoulder there we go color those dreadlocks in and leave the ends white for now there we go looking good and awesome, okay. So right now let's get started on the, the uniform. We will do a pink, let's get our pink, bright pink color. So we're gonna do um, a line right here and then come from the armpit up to the shoulder and we'll fill this in with our pink kind of a salmon color, but fill that in. I'm gonna get the wider, the wide tip here so it fills it in quicker. Alrighty, and then a pink belt. And then they have a pink stripe coming down the side of their pants. So I'm basically just tracing The leg edge here with the pink marker. Cool. And let's do, we're gonna do the pink um, San Diego logo on the hat here. So there's the S. Now the D is gonna come down. Wrap around the best we can. Cool. Looking good, looking good. All right, now we're gonna do a pink 23. Since we have our pink marker, I'm just doing a bunch of the pink stuff. So we're gonna do the pink 23. And if you need to pause or rewind, do so, because some of these are, this is a little more challenging of a drawing. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to get a yellow. Fill in this stripe with yellow. There's another stripe on this side with yellow. Okay, and we are going to keep the yellow. We're gonna write the word San Diego in yellow, okay? S, do the best you can, write it as fun as you can. A 
Hopefully we can fit all the letters on this thing. Okay. All right, and next we're gonna get this kind of, I call it mint. It's like a mint green color. We're gonna get the uh, mint green color on this shoulder. Go from the armpit up to the shoulder. Don't cover up that yellow. Fill in the mint green shoulder right there. And we're gonna do shoes in mint. So make a stripe. Make a stripe. But you see how I left the inside white? Leave that white. Leave the shoelaces white. So I did, and then fill in the rest of the shoe with mint green. Usually we do all the coloring and fast forward, but since this is more of a challenging Fernando Tatis, I wanted to do it all with you guys. Okay, let me know what you guys think of the City Connect jerseys. Usually the Padres have their brown jerseys that we're used to, but this, sometimes they wear these City Connect stylish jerseys and Fernando Tatis is really famous for wearing it. So why not? Cool. So now we will do um, the bottom section of the San Diego is mint green. So I'm gonna kind of trace the bottom half of these letters. We'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've actually done this, so we'll test it out. <laughs> see how I did that? I just kind of did the bottom of the San Diego in the green, and then I'm gonna get the pink again and do the top of San Diego in pink. Trace the S, trace the A, trace the N, trace the D, the I, the E, the G, and the O. San Diego, and get the yellow again. I forgot that we have a yellow stripe around the neck. Like that. And the mint green hat, it's kind of cool. So get the mint green again. We're gonna go color the brim, outline the top of the hat, and then just kind of color around that logo the best we can. Okay, filling in the hat with the mint green, City Connect. Looking good, looking good. I might get the pointy edge here. And just put some detail in around that hat. All right, cool, I'm gonna leave it like that. So now let's do, let's get red. We'll do the baseball really fast. Do an arch, kind of like a backwards S. Come in and out. And then I like to do these squiggly marks to make it look like the baseball threads. Do those really fast. Also in the comments, let me know who your favorite baseball players are. I'd like to hear who you guys want us to draw. Seems like the football players are the most popular, but you know, it's baseball season, so let's hear it. Okay, there's the baseball. We are going to now get our kind of this tan color. And we're going to fill in Fernando Tatis's skin. Actually, did I get the right one? I don't know if I got the right one here. Yes, I did. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate you guys drawing with us. This is fun. It's one of our favorite players. So recently I took my daughter, 12 year old daughter and 10 year old son to the San Diego Padres game at Petco Park. We saw 
Tatis and Machado and all those guys playing. And then we went to see the Angels game up the road. And then we went to Chicago and watched the Cubbies play against the Braves. Then we went down the street and watched the White Sox play against the Orioles. Saw some serious good games and great players. It's a good family activity to just explore the baseball games and enjoy a night at the park. It's fun for us. Plus we collect baseball cards and sports cards. It's fun to see the players play in person. Cool. All right, so we got so now what I do, now I do, I get a light pink and I color the bottom lip light. So the top lip is always a little bit darker, just to let you know. I get a little bit darker. It's because the top lip casts a shadow, believe it or not. So we do a darker top lip and a lighter bottom lip. Okay. And then, Let's do the sunglasses. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna get maybe a, a gray color. And watch this, we're gonna do a stripe, skinny one, and then a wide stripe. Over here, a skinny one. We're going on an angle and a wide one. And I'm gonna fill in I'm gonna leave those stripes white. Those are the reflections off of the sunglasses. Okay, see how that works? And then I'm gonna get a light blue. And I'm gonna fill in a little bit of light blue, like the reflection from the sky as Tatis is out there in the outfield, okay. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right, and then, I told you Tatis had some bleached, what color should we do, some bleached uh, tips. Let's do them brown. Fill in these, the end of these dreadlocks with. All right. And then what I like to do, as you see us in our drawings, I get a little bit darker brown and I make some shadows. Kind of brings the drawing to life. So the bottom of the arm's shadowed. The bottom of this arm has a shadow. Just a little darker. And I let the lighter colors kind of come through. So in the neck, the neck always has a shadow. I always do a shadow on the neck. The ear has a little bit under the sunglasses. The beard a little bit, not too much. And then we know, I'm gonna get the black. He, Tatis has a little bit of face paint, some eye paint come down out of the glasses, curve down one, curve out two, see that? Now we gotta draw the bat, let's do the bat. Well, we're gonna get a yellow color. Let's do uh, kind of this yellow brown and color in the baseball bat. Get a little darker brown, maybe something like this. Pointed tip. I do a little circle right here. And then the grain of the wood that kind of goes around the circle, goes up, comes down. Maybe a little shadow. 
that. All right, cool. Looks good, looks good. Now what we do on all of our drawings is we outline in a thick black and then a little gray. So I'm gonna fast forward now. You can watch us outline Tatis Jr. in black and gray. Thank you so much for joining us. Let us know what you think of the City Connect jersey with Fernando Tatis Jr. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you guys. Fast forward now.